Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from a beautiful sunny Menasha, Wisconsin today. I am going to pull you up on my screen and mute my laptop, wait for some of you guys to pop in here. I hope you had a good weekend. For those of you that aren't working anymore, it doesn't really matter what day it is, right? <sighs> Unless you're working from home and then tomorrow is a work day. I know some people are getting really restless right now, and I totally get that. Like crazy, crazy, right? Hi, Haley. I missed Haley today. Her and Jared stopped over, and um, I was sleeping. I know. I took another nap. <laughs> I love naps. But um, today, I went out. I went out into the world today, and it was a very interesting experience. So, you know, we've got the baby coming. So Steve and I and Haley and Jared and we're all being super, super careful about the germs. And it's very interesting from that perspective to go out in public because I got to Walgreens. I had to go to Walgreens, so germ fast, right? And um, I needed to get a shot. Haley has told us that we need to have pertussis shots before the baby is born. So I went to Walgreens, I called ahead, they had them in stock, and I went to get my pertussis shot. And it was just so interesting watching people there because this guy came in and he was there to get a prescription filled and he walks up to the counter and puts his hands on it and and I'm looking at that going, why would you touch that dirty counter? <laughs> and I'm not a germ freak, you guys. Not at, like, not at all. Steve's a little bit germ freaky. But I'm totally not like that. I was in a mask. I had rubber gloves on. I was cootie. I'm staying cootie free, right? Or as much as I possibly can. And I just watched this guy touching all the things. And then I watched the pharmacist. I heard him wash his hands. And then I saw him go over and grab the shot that he was going to give me. And um, before that, he did hand sanitizer. So he washed his hands, then he did hand sanitizer, then he picked up my shot, then he stopped at the counter with the guy with the hands on the counter and talked to him for a while and then took a box from that man and put him over. And I'm watching this guy like a hawk and I'm like, you better wash your hands again. And he used the hand sanitizer again. And, you know, it was all kind of funny because as he came out from behind, there's a door that they have to come through to come out to go in the little room to do the shot thing. He opened the door that some guy had just gone in and touched and the whole, you know, and I'm sitting here watching everybody touch all the things. And I was like, I don't have any questions why this is getting spread all over. Like, we're supposed to be in high alert mode right now and trying our best to stay germ free but that wasn't happening at Walgreens today <laughs> but I was staying germ free and I see Rachel is on here Rachel how are you feeling yeah Connie says good girl for watching I'm wearing a mask I did I wore a mask and rubber gloves and I was just super aware of people like stay away from me and they do have all the tape lines so you're supposed to stay away from each other um I wouldn't touch the machines to push any numbers like they asked me for my phone number to push it in the little thing to get my rewards I'm like nope <laughs> nope and then when it came up and I th pushed my card in and I said um I'm watching the screen I'm like credit and the pharmacist totally knew that I was not touching that machine <laughs> and I told him why and he also was like, uh, what kind of shot are you looking for? Because we're not really doing shots right now. And I said, well, my daughter's having a baby and they've recommended pertussis shot. And he's like, yep, we will do that. That is legitimate. It is needed. Blah, blah, blah. So, hi, Kim. Hi, Connie. Mary. I see everybody popping in here. Marsha's here. Wonderful. Charlene. Happy to see you guys. So, and Rachel's not feeling good. You keep us updated, Rachel. You keep me updated on what's going on with you. Um, Rachel started having some, like, COVID-19 symptoms yesterday or the day before, and she went in and got tested. So I hope that's the case. Haley was telling me that 
there were two cases in Appleton of the coronavirus. One of them was due to domestic travel, or, you know, so they assume because the person was traveling domestically, and the other one was not. And I can't remember exactly what she called it, but that person hadn't traveled to any place. So community. It was community. Um, she got it out in the community someplace. So we need to be careful, folks. We need to get this under control, and we need to stop the spread of the germs. That's my, um, what do you call that kind of announcement? Oh, I had it right on the tip of my tongue. Gosh, I wish my brain would work better. That's my public something announcement. <laughs> I know you guys are going to tell me what I'm supposed to be saying. I can't even remember. <laughs> so, um, after I went to Walgreens, then I went out to Sherwood, which is about, I don't know, 12 miles from here, to my friend Kathy's house where she had some stuff sitting out on her porch for me to pick up. And I exchanged some stuff with her and left it on her porch. And she came to the door and we chatted. So that was nice. But we were way more than six feet apart. And I was like, whoa. And yeah, and she was like, whoa. And we're doing our part. We're doing our part to try and get this thing contained. At least, uh, you know, yeah. Nobody wants it, right? Yeah. So anyways, I just ate supper. I know you guys are probably going to be shocked by what I had for supper, but it's clam chowder. That was a big bag of soup, I'm telling you, and I keep trying to eat it all, but I'm only, I can only eat so much, right? So I had clam chowder soup, and I thought I'd better um, have something to eat before I come on, because when I got home from Walgreens, I just kind of went upstairs and went to bed. <laughs> it was wonderful. I'm feeling much more refreshed. I was getting a little, yeah, Kim, public service announcement. Thank you. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. But I was, oh, and I'm touching my face again, right? But I have washed my hands and I haven't been any place. And my nose itches. Um, I don't even know what I was going to say. <laughs> Squirrel. I see Marianne and Connie coming in. So happy to see all of you guys tonight. There's Nancy, public service announcement. Thank you, guys. I talked to my mom today. She's doing good with the kids. Um, she's got three of her grandkids at her house. And uh, they have been painting a great big planter that Steve gave her. And they're painting their own artwork on each side. So it's pretty cool looking. They've been four-wheeling and training their cats. There's some outdoor cats up there, some farm cats. And they're training them. So she said that was just hysterical to watch. Can you imagine? Yeah. Cats aren't real trainable. <laughs> Not like dogs. <laughs> so, um, I see that there are some messages. You guys know that I can't read everything that's coming in. I just don't want anybody to think that I'm not acknowledging your comment or I'm ignoring it because I'm certainly not. But when there's two, when there's a bunch of people um, commenting at the same time, I don't even see it. Like it doesn't even appear on my screen. Hi, Lisa Kashevsky. Happy to see you here tonight. Um, Jenny's got a migraine. So sorry, Jenny. That's crazy. We've got, um, is it Rossio? Is that how you say your name? And Barbara coming in and Sylvia Mosher's here. And Amy, happy to see you, Amy. Kimberly, yeah, I was feeling a little run down just because I've been putting in a lot of hours. That's the only reason. It's not because I'm not feeling well or I feel like I might be coming down with something. I totally don't. But they did tell me that the shot I got today may feel make me feel a little crummy for a couple days. Um, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. They also told me that I may have a little low-grade fever. Don't be alarmed by anything under 100, he said. Don't worry about it. So I'm like, nah, I'm good. I'm not one to panic. Can you freeze clam chowder? You know, I don't know because, Peggy, I think the potatoes in it would get goofy if you froze it. But I, I could be wrong. I don't know. But there's there's not a ton left, so I'm, I'm working my way through that giant portion. Okay. Hi, Jan from Wisconsin Rapids. And Patty, I'm happy to see you on here, too. So we've got, there I go, touching my face again, right? I did not touch my face out in public. And when I got in my car, took the gloves off, dropped them on the floor, and grabbed the hand sanitizer and did the thing. 
So, keeping it together, you guys. Um, I've got prizes to hand out. I have a whole bunch of people that are messaging me and asking if I have any extra um, March paper pumpkins. I don't. I only order one kit, and it's mine. And I don't order extra kits. So please make sure that if you need, you know, get yourself a subscription. I'm always going to provide you with, you know, 15 to 20 alternate ideas if you just happen to not like the ideas that come in the kit. So you're always going to have something cute that you can make with it. And it's just a good way to um, keep yourself stamping. And then you won't have the frustration of missing the fabulous kit. Because let's be real, March's kit was the cutest kit Ever, but I don't have extras. So Joanne says she freezes potato soup, but isn't potato soup a little more mushy? Like clam chowder has chunks of potatoes in it. And for the record, I do not like potato soup at all. Like, no. But clam chowder has potatoes in it, so it's kind of funny, right? My mom made me eat it when I was a child, and um, that didn't go well for either one of us. <laughs> She went out to the garden. I took the soup over and dumped out everything except a half a spoon. And um, <laughs> when she came back in the house, I ate that half a spoon. And I was like, oh. And I have never eaten potato soup since. It's so funny. Oh, and Lisa says, take them off before touching your car. Well, I think that's a good idea. But how long is that virus going to last on a car going 60 miles an hour for 30 miles? I mean, I don't know. That's what I, that's another thing that I wonder. What about the bag that I carried out to my car? Like other people just touched that. I don't know. And um, Haley, I will, did you say text you as soon as I get done tonight? I'll do that. I think that's what you just said. So Rhonda worked on some paper pumpkins today. Good for you, Rhonda. Um, yeah, Connie says, subscribe to Paper Pumpkin, everyone. Thank you, Connie. It is, it's really just fun. So. Um, we have winners from last Sunday. Now you guys know that every Sunday night at 7 p.m. Central Time is my normal Facebook Live. Um, since the, since the CQ 2020 started going on, I've been doing them every day. But I want to stick with keeping my Sunday night, my main live, and consistent. So we have three prizes tonight. Woohoo! Um, we have a prize for commenting, so make sure that if you're coming in here and you've never watched me before, you want to leave some type of a comment. Okay, I'll text you tomorrow, Hills. Um, you want to leave some type of a comment because you're going to get entered in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. <laughs> and from last Sunday, I have a winner with the gold faceted gems. These are so pretty. I love them. And our winner for leaving her comment is Trisha Dorton. Trisha, I do not have your address, so if you could please instant message me or email me is even better, kelly at astampabove.com and let me know your address so I can get these off in the mail for you. Then you want to share my video, and you can actually click on that share button right now. It's someplace on your screen. You can just touch the share button and share my video. That really helps me out. I have a winner from last Sunday. I have this Parisian Flourish embossing folder. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. This is going out to Shelby White of Spencer, Wisconsin for sharing my Sunday video last week. So Shelby, watch your mail for some fun stuff. I know Shelby's going to just love that. And then I've got these, I've got envelopes all made up except for Trisha's. I've got an envelope ready for you, but I don't have your address yet. So I got to keep everything in order. And then um, this one stays up here. That's our prize for our Facebook Live. I'll be drawing a name for that from yesterday. That's a lot to keep track of, right? <laughs> Last but not least, this is our prize for um, placing an order from, and now this is from last Sunday through today. Placing an order, everybody who places an order also gets entered in a prize drawing. And my winner is Edie Richeson from Bloomington, Indiana. You're gonna get this ribbon donated by Terry and the Little Ladybug stamp set. I know you're gonna love this. These are super, super cute. Okay. 
Congratulations, everyone. It's always fun to win, right? And you know what I like the best? I like getting that message where somebody says, oh my gosh, I can't believe I won. I never win anything. You can't say that anymore. You guys can't say anything. Oh, and I see Shelby's mom is watching. Yay! Hi, Arliss. So, congratulations to all our winners. And then somebody had posted a message asking me where I was at with my million dollar career to date sales total and I forgot to check so I am quickly logging in to see just exactly where I'm at with that and um, I'll let you guys know I have about sixteen hundred more dollars in sales to go before we can tear off another chain it's getting shorter yay I know right that's the pot at the end of the rainbow. I said that right, right? <laughs> Sometimes I start, try to say like um, nifty little things like that and I get them all messed up. Do you guys ever do that? Like, and then you feel like, oh my lord, I just totally blew it. It's like blowing the punchline of a joke. I hate it. <laughs> okay. Um, there's a lot of confusion going on about the ornate garden set being on back order. So let me tell you what our status report says. We have an inventory status report, and I know that a lot of people, it's its confusing. A lot of people don't understand that when you have suites of products, they're listed and they have dates on them that are different than if you would scroll down the page and look at the actual individual products. Those give you the correct dates unless they happen to get changed. And right now, with everything going on in the world, delays are pretty much expected. The ornate um, border dies looks like they are expected in the warehouse on May 4th or the week of May 4th, I should say. So I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on with that. And I'm looking for some more things here that would be important. The bee dies are expected in the week of April 13th. So that's next week. That's cool. Birthday bonanza dies, same thing. Poppy Moments, Painted Labels, and The Stitch So Sweetly, all expected in the week of April 13th. Now, we can't guarantee that, but that's when they're expected. Um, you know, once our stuff gets delivered to the U.S., if it's coming from overseas, then it has to go through customs. And um, depending on how many people are still working at customs is how, how the delays can really happen. Plus, there can be delays in shipping because people aren't we don't have a 100% workforce on the other ends of these things. I guess that's maybe a good way to put it. But I'm just looking at all the things that are on low inventory. And those are the most, you know, the most popular items. Um, or back ordered. So there you go. Any word on the garden gate? Yeah, I think that one's coming April 13th also. Let me scroll back up here. And I'll take a look at it. I just saw it here someplace. Those are bundles. Da da da. Here we go. Um, Garden Gateway dies April 13th. So there you go. That's exciting. Okay. So I told you guys that I was going to be sharing with you um, some type of a way or a box to use to put the cards in that we made last night. So, and remember, I want everybody to remember that this was not my card idea, first of all. I actually got the card from Rhonda Wade in the mail and I loved it so much that I had to make it. Let me get all my little things out here. Set that in my garbage can. My garbage can is kind of a holder of all things because my office is so small. Oh, and I wanted to let you guys know, I have, well, I maybe shouldn't advertise these quite yet. I might have two Welcome Easter kits available, but I'm going to hang on to them. I always like to hang on to a couple just in case they get lost in the mail or something happens to them that I can send out a new one right away if there's some type of a, you know, like they get rained on or... <laughs> Haley just said, your granddaughter must hear you right now. She is moving like crazy. Oh, I love that. Haley's been Snapchatting photos of the baby. So she'll lay down and she'll have her belly sticking out. And then our belly will be going like this. So it's pretty cool. 
Yeah. Thank you, Wendy. You are so sweet. Yeah, my online classes are a lot of fun. Um, I put a lot of work into them, and I try as hard as possible to make them absolutely perfect. Um, you guys know that I'm kind of a perfectionist. Kind of. I would say that about myself. <laughs> okay, here are our beautiful cards from last night. And don't forget, I know you maybe not able to see this, but there's Wink of Stella on here that just makes these mm, so spectacular. So spectacular. So, um, I made up a little container for those boxes to share with you. And before I, before I forget, I want to tell you guys, I'm just kind of arranging things here. I want to tell you guys that I will probably not, <laughs> Jared, Jared says nothing gets lost in the mail. Jared, Guess what, pal? Never got my paper pumpkin kit. Yeah, it was, it, it got lost. It got lost someplace. Now, I don't know if UPS did it. I don't know if the post office did it, but somebody lost my paper pumpkin. So I beg to differ with you, and you're funny. <laughs> Is there a white ink that can be used on cardstock without embossing powder? Sure, you can buy our craft white ink pad, and you can use that without embossing powder. Now, it doesn't, it's not stark, stark, stark white. You can see a little bit of the color of your cardstock coming through, but when you use it on darker colors of cardstock, it's it's pretty neat looking. I'll tell you that. Uh, I'm going to bring you guys up on my screen. Oh, shoot, I just went away from you. Hang on. Glad my computer's working really good. My internet seems to be working really good tonight. And I'm going to bring up my live so I can flip my camera around. Sorry for the delay. Where am I? There I am. My husband came in tonight. He actually went out for a Harley ride. And then when he got back, he came in here and he said to me, he goes, you always have such pretty tops. I'm like, oh, thanks, isn't that sweet? Yeah, um, Jenny's asking if I called Stampin' Up about my paper pumpkin kit. Yep, and they're sending me a new one. Um, so it's not like I'm worried about it or anything, Jenny. It's just that it did get lost in the mail and it was a problem because I am on a paper pumpkin blog hop, as you guys know, but I didn't have a kit, so I had to borrow mine. Yeah. I know, Helen says, oh, what a sweet hubby. I know, right? Okay, I'm gonna flip my um, screen around so that we can start making our container for our beautiful cards from last night. And now I'm gonna start missing a lot of comments, so I just want you to know that that's what happens because it is tricky to stamp and talk and think and read. <laughs> it's just kind of a talent I haven't really mastered. And I think we're looking pretty straight here. How's that look, you guys? Okay. I don't like that my phone seems to be, my stand keeps, it's like really, really stiff and I don't know why. Okay, so. I have decided to use the Ornate Thanks, of course. You know, we used the Ornate Style and the Ornate Thanks to make this card. Where's the style one? What the heck did I do with that? For Pete's sakes, right? Here it is. Okay, bringing it in, bringing it in. <laughs> the Ornate Style and the Ornate Thanks. All of these are part of the Ornate Garden Suite. So, I've got these two stamp sets. And these are the cards that we made last night. Now we made four of them and we have matching envelopes. So I've got a card, an envelope, card, an envelope. We've got four of them here. And this seems to be just the right amount to fit in the container that I made. I've also got my gilded gems. These are beautiful, you guys. The gold is so pretty. And I also used the Ornate Layers dies. Where's my paper sampler for all of this. Hang on, I'm coming. Here we go. These dies right here. So we've got these and these and this. Yeah, these are the ones that are in the ornate layer dies. And I don't think those are on back order. So it's the edgelets that are on back order, I think. Anywho, we are going to bring in our scoreboard. This is our Simply Score board. If you don't have one, I love these things. And I know we have a scoring blade on our um, um, paper pumpkin.
paper cutter. But sometimes these work nicer, and especially if you're doing a lot of scoring. So I'm going to start out with petal pink cardstock here. This is an 8.5 by 11 inch. It's a full sheet of cardstock. And on the long side, that when I say the long side, that's the side you're going to put up against the backboard here. We're going to score at five and a quarter and five and three quarters. Now, if you were doing a bunch of these, I would definitely take the little markers and put them in here so that you don't have to think too hard about this, okay? Then we're going to turn it, and on the short side, we're going to score at six and a half. And I always like to use the smaller end of my stylus for cardstock and the bigger end for designer series paper so you don't accidentally push too hard and rip it. You can't really rip cardstock with these things, but if you use the small end on designer paper, you can. If, if you push too hard, you'll tear your paper. This is it. This is all there is to this. It's pretty simple. And again, this thing is called a Simply Scored. It is in our store. Okay. Now we're going to bring in our paper snips, and we've got a score line here and then score lines right here. I'm actually not even going to cut on those score lines. I'm going to cut at a little bit of a diagonal coming into them, and I'll show you here in just a second. And then we're going to cut this little part out. Maybe. There we go. I didn't do a very good job. Hang on. I'm going to bend this back so that I can cut this out a little bit better because that will make me absolutely crazy. There we go, now it looks nice and even, okay? So we've got just a little bit of an angle going on here and I'm gonna do just a little bit more of an angle. I thought I would be able to not have to cut twice, but I'm cutting twice anyways. And you just do whatever you need to do here. I will post all of these dimensions for this when I'm done right above the um, this Facebook video. So just know that you'll be able to find that, but I'm probably not gonna get a blog post done until tomorrow. I'm getting a little behind on my regular duties um, in my stamping up job. And so I need to take care of some other things before I do a blog post. Plus, before I forget, and I think I'll be talking about this a little bit later, I have a YouTube hop that's tomorrow morning at is it at 9 a.m. Central Time, 10 a.m. Eastern Time? Yes. I'm doing a blog, uh, no, not a blog hop, a YouTube video hop using the all dressed up dyes and that cute little bag. Yeah. So that's going to be posting. So I had to spend some time on that. That is also my online class that I have going on for the month of April. That's the kit class. It, it's going to be a um, YouTube video hop making these bags and doing different things with the bags. So I'm excited about it because I made something super cute with it. Okay, look at this. This is just our portfolio, you guys. And this is what we're going to put our cards in. And this couldn't be any simpler. It's just so easy. Now, I, oh, and I got this idea from Leanne Graff. She's a friend of mine. And I just went out online and did a search for, um, note card containers or something like that and I, I came up with I found this and I'm like oh I love that it's super simple and that's what I like the most about it and then you can do whatever you want I'm just putting a little tear and tape on these flaps right here just like this and now not on this side just on the outside edge you're gonna do this okay that's what we've got Okay, now what are we going to do with the front? Well, I'm glad you asked <laughs> because I have something pretty cool for the front. I took the dies that are here and I did a whole bunch of die cutting. And you guys know that I don't usually like to do die cutting on screen because it just takes so much time and you know how to run something through your, your big shot. So what I did is, let me grab this. I grabbed the largest die that's in the Blackberry, the very last one here, and I die cut it on Whisper White, okay? So um, we have that. And then, let me see, where did my, oh, 
I again brought in that magnolia paper, okay? Oh, and I got the pack out so you can really see it. Where is it? It's right here on the floor. Now, there's a pack of magnolia paper that you can get that has all the different patterns in it. And that's called Magnolia Lane. There's also this pack that's called Magnolia Lane Bulk Designer Series Paper. I'm pretty sure that customers can still get this too. 20 sheets in here. And the patterns that are included in that, and I love that they did this because if you wanna sit down and make a whole bunch of cards that are all the same, this is perfect. So the patterns that they have is this one with the beautiful flowers on the other side and then this one with the stripes on the other side. So you get 10 sheets of each of these patterns. And that just makes, it makes it great, especially for demonstrators who are, who are doing classes or putting kits together. This is a really good um, thing to order or people who want to make a whole bunch of the same cards or maybe you're making wedding invitations or thank you cards for a wedding or something. It's pretty cool. And again, Magnolia Lane Bulk. That's what it's called. Okay, so I've got a piece of designer series paper here that is two and a half by five and a quarter. I've got a piece of basic black that's three and a quarter by four and three quarters. And again, I will put these dimensions above this video when we're done being live. Then I've got a piece of white that's three by four and a half. And then I cut out a bunch of elements. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do here, but I've got Petal Pink, Whisper White, and that is coming to us from this die right here. Um, it's, oh, oh, maybe I don't have that one on here. Really? I guess I don't. I never cut that one out and put it on my little sheet. Um, anyways, it's right here. So that's where the die is coming from. And this is the die that matches up with the bigger words in here. These all fit on this layer, this rectangle, and it's stitched. So that makes it extra pretty. So I don't know for sure exactly what I want to do with that. Then I took this die this die right here, it's like, oh my Lord, what did I do? This die right here, and I cut this out. And then I decided I wanted just that edge, so I took a scrap and cut it out again. So these two are the same. And then I didn't know if I wanted it to be gold foil or not, so I cut it out again. So we just have a whole bunch of things to play with here. And now we're going to get to work. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my designer series paper and we are going to, we're going to add that right down here at the bottom of our card folder. And then I thought this would be a good idea to put, to separate the two petal pinks, right? Because it's kind of like, nah, blah. So I thought I would give that a whirl. And I think what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to come in and cut this like this. So it ends with the flower. And I could be totally screwing this up right now, but we'll we'll see what happens. We might have to cut another one because <laughs> I haven't actually made this yet. Okay, so I thought this would be nice just right down here. I just want it to pop up a little bit like that, and I think that's going to work nicely. So let's get a little bit of glue on here. And... I'm going to just pull this right down so all that's sticking out there is that little bit of scallop, okay? And I see that there's kind of a blocky little piece here where I trimmed that off. I just like curved it a little bit so it doesn't look silly. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna cut this last one off. There, I curved that better. Oops, I gotta trim this a little bit better. Okay, and we're gonna put this one right over here. Yeah. Oh, I kind of trimmed that pretty close. So hang on, we're going to we're going to cut off one more. Keep your fingers crossed, people. I don't know if I'm getting a little bit too chop happy or not. Oh, that looks better. Okay. Um, let me trim this off. I don't think it's going to matter, but you know, I'm a little weird like that. And I just put a little bit of glue right here. And we're going to come in Oh my gosh, I think that's gonna be super pretty. So just these kind of tiny little things 
can really make a difference with your projects. I just wanted something that was going to separate this paper from this paper. Now what about this? We're going to cover that middle up so it doesn't matter. Now I'm going to put this all the way to the bottom of my little portfolio. There we go. Okay. Then we're going to bring this in and I'm going to bring this in. I'm going to glue the black to the white die cut. Make sure I got this on the right side here. And again, this black piece is three and a quarter by four and three quarters, just like that. And I'm going to bring this in just like this and see how that works out there. Just a tiny, tiny little bit that separates this from that. I think that was a great idea. Sometimes I can come up with some pretty good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Some days are better than others for that. Now, I'm just going to kind of center this from side to side. There we go. Um, if you wanted to on this, you could have put some ribbon on here first, but I decided that mine didn't need ribbon. And th again, that is completely up to you. And then I wasn't sure if I wanted white or petal pink. So we're going to do both. And then you guys can let me know which one you like better. I'm going to bring in my Memento ink and my stamp. Let's get these up here so you can see what's going on. So I'm using the So Grateful. Now the cards on the inside of my... Um, that are going to go in this gift pack are thank you cards. So I'm going to do so grateful on the front. And remember, I'm making this as a gift. That looks so pretty, doesn't I really, really, really like the font on these words. And we're going to do this one too, so you guys can tell me which color you like better. Cool, right? Okay, let's get this closed up before we have some major accidents. Then, oh, Where's the white piece? We need to do this too. We're going to bring in this floral image and yep, I want this to be the top. I'm going to ink this up. Now when I have a bigger image like this, I like to lay it on my table face up and bring my ink to it versus going like this where you can't really see what's going on. It just makes it easier for me. We're going to stamp that on our white piece and our white piece was three by four and a half. We're going to do the same thing to that that we did um, last night. I'm just making my screen scroll here. We're going to do the same thing to that that we did last night with the Wink of Stella. So you're just going to go around and splash a little glimmer on each of these petals. And I think a good rule of, rule of thumb, like how much do you do, Kelly? Do the veins in the leaves, and you can see how quick I'm doing this. I'm not being real careful. Now, you could take your time and go really slow if you wanted to, but you don't have to. You can just splash the wink all over, and you want to just kind of go along the little hash marks that Stampin' Up! has put on the flowers and the leaves. So, a little bit on each petal, and then you can hold it up to the light and see how it looks. But I know you guys can't see this. It is spectacular. I want you to do this at home and see just how pretty that is. So you're going to do all of these. And I'm not going to do all of them because it just takes a long time. And I can't read your comments while I'm doing this. So I get a little bored. <laughs> is that funny? Like, I don't like doing this because I can't see what you guys are saying or doing or wanting or asking. So maybe I'll just do a couple more. I'll finish this up later, okay? But once you get this done, close up your Wink of Stella. <laughs> Kate says she loves the Wink. I know, right? It is so, so pretty. If you wanted to, you could actually color in the flowers on the front of this. That might be an idea too. You know, it's figure out what you want to do. What do you want to do with this? Now I'm going to put this part right in here and then here comes like my favorite part. We've got this and this. Okay, we've got gold or we've got black. So if we go with 
the gold. Do we use the white? And look at how pretty this is. And go that route? What do you guys think of that? Or do we go with the petal pink? And go that route. I don't know. I kind of like that gold. Or do we put the petal pink on the gold? Lots of decisions, right? I think that we're going to go with the gold. Now, when I cut something like this out and I don't use it right now, I take it and put it in the back of my dies. And you can see I have other elements in here that I cut out and changed my mind on or didn't need. I just put those in there and I have them for when I start creating again. I'm looking at comments. Black and pink, we've got black and pink, black and pink, petal pink on black, okay. Now see, I was thinking you guys would really go for the gold, so I'm glad I'm asking. Let me get that back out, I will save my gold one. Here we go. Gold is gonna go in here and I can use that on something else. All right, thank you for your comment. Oh, now we've got petal pink on gold. Yeah, see, Connie, I kind of like the gold better too, but I think we have a, a majority here that likes the pink on the black. So we're going to go with that. Either way, it's going to be beautiful, right? And then we're going to put this on some dimensionals. Uh, thank you guys for all the hearts. I really appreciate it. Here comes, and I'm just going to kind of center this in the striped paper area down here, okay? So I've kind of centered it here and here. Then we absolutely have to add some of the gold gilded gems because they're so, so pretty. And here we go. I'm going to take one of these. And I'm going to put, I'm going to put, is that a little one that I just grabbed? I think so. I'm going to put this right out here. I'm going to grab a medium one. We're going to go right up here, just like we did on the cards. I'm pretty much doing exactly the same thing that we did on the cards. And I think I'm going to stick right there. Look how pretty that is, right? Okay. Oh, we're gonna, I'm gonna take this also and I'm gonna put this in my stamp case because I can use that for something else. Oh, and this one. Oh, I had an extra one just in case I screwed that one up. <laughs> it's a little trick of the trade. You guys know how much I love it when I have to redo things, right? And I'm not ready for it. Hang on, I just dropped something and I don't know what it was. Eh, I don't know. Okay, so now we're gonna take these cards. Here we go. We've got two cards. Now you can see, can you guys see that Wink Stella in there? It's so, it just makes this so very elegant. It's beautiful. Here comes two cards and two envelopes. These are going to go right in here. Oops, hang on. Let me get my little bow in there. There we go. And then two more cards and envelopes. Look at that. What do you think? Isn't that super easy, you guys? And you can get as elaborate as you want with this. This part is just the simplest thing. And again, it's just an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. You're gonna score it on the long side at five and a quarter and five and three quarters, and then you're gonna turn it and score it at six and a half on the short side. That's it. Like, it doesn't get much easier than this, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm scrolling my screen. And I have another one made here that I did with black. And I used gold embossing powder on the black part here. This one I did get all winked up. There's a black one and a pink one. I think I really like this one better. What do you guys think? I don't know. Both of them are cute. Both of them are very elegant. If somebody didn't see this one, they would love this one, right? 
That's the way I always think about it. If they didn't see the one I like the best, they would love this one. But yeah, super, super easy and pretty. It doesn't get much easier for a card container than that. And I wanted to give a shout out to Letitia. She sent me a card container idea last night, and I did see it after I'd already started working on this one. So I think I'll use that for something in the future, Letitia. Thank you so much for sending that to me. Okay, Connie says she loves the black one. Yeah, it's kind of, it's neat. This designer paper really pops on here versus this one, and that's why I wanted to put that little black fringe right here to separate the two. I hadn't made this one yet, so I wasn't really sure what it was gonna look like. I knew I liked the contrast here. And Elizabeth likes the pink one better. Terry likes the pink one. Marsha loves the black one too. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Yeah, it is. It is. Deb or Kathy is saying very classy. And yes, it is very classy. And then look at the classy cards. Like, again, I was just rocked by these cards when I got that one in the mail from my friend Rhonda. It was like, oh my gosh, that is just outstanding. All right, so... Um, let's see. What time is it? My screen is not telling me. It's only 7.46. I think I have enough time to do a little something else. You guys, you guys have time for me to do another project? Let me know because I could certainly keep it for tomorrow. I'm pretty sure that I will be live again tomorrow sometime now. On Sunday nights, I'm live at 7 p.m. Central Time. But on the other days that I have added to my schedule as extra Facebook Lives, I am not setting a time. And the reason why I do that is because I never know how my day is going to go. And I do not want to schedule myself seven days a week for something. So I just come on live when I come on live. That's how I'm going to roll with that. I'm just going to continue to do that. I hope I don't start feeling crummy from the shot, but I shouldn't. I usually don't get stuff like that. Things like that usually don't happen to me. I'm pretty, um, pretty sturdy person. Uh, yes, Marcia just said that So Grateful could go on a ribbon or a belly band too. It certainly could. It certainly could. You are absolutely right. Okay, where's my other bin of stuff? Here, I think this is it. Is this it? This is it. All right. Let me make sure. Yep. Yep. This is it. Okay. So I made this to go along with my YouTube video hop. And I'm just going to set this down here. This was a card that I made last week introducing my online class. We're not making that. I already did that one. We're going to make something different. But I'm going to get all my stuff out here. And I think you guys are really, really going to like this card because I haven't actually made it yet. <laughs> it's just, it's in my head and I have everything cut for it. Now, how many of you have these? Hang on. Got some frames in the way here. Heirloom frame dies. When you order these, you get a, a rectangular frame embossing folder. Hang on. Well, for Pete's sakes. There we go. That um, embosses this beautiful frame, rectangle, and an oval. Okay. And then you get these dies that cut each of these out. So this and this cut them out. So I got to playing with those, and I, I haven't used these much, and I'm not really sure why, I just haven't brought them out, but I found them to be pretty cool. So, let's see if I can remember what I wanted to do with this card. I'm going to bring in my cardstock layers here. Hang on just a second. First of all... I chose this pattern out of the Best Dressed Designer Series paper. Now again, that's what I use for this card right here, the green and the shoes, okay? And then the inside of it is super cute with the kindness is always in style and the perfume bottle and the flowers. This is a super cute little stamp set. Also included with it is a bag die, and that's where I got that little bag from that I just showed you. Let me grab that again. Here's the little bag. That I made. So 
I decided to pick this paper out because I love the colors in it. So the first thing we're going to do here is add a two and a half by six inch piece of that designer series paper. It's called Best Dressed to our envelope flap. This has been like my norm lately. I am on a quest to use my designer series paper and this is a good way to use it up. I can order more, it's still available. And like I said, you guys, if you can swing it, when you order a designer series paper, just order two packs. That way you won't be skimpy about it because we all know that we're a little stingy with our paper if we only have one pack of it. And what I've found in my own personal consumption of paper, if I have two packs, I'll use it more. And then I use it all up instead of never using it because I'm afraid I'm going to run out. Look at how pretty that is, right? Okay, here comes the other pieces. So I've got a Whisper White layer. That's for the inside of my card. And I've got a three-quarter inch by four inch piece just to decorate up that inside a little bit. I'm going to put that on right away. And by the way, this white layer is four by five and a quarter. Oops. Trim this off just a touch. I've got Blackberry Bliss, which is a coordinating color in this pack of paper. Does anybody see my bone folder? Oh, I heard it. I heard it clink. I always lose that thing. It like never fails. Okay, we're going to add this right to the inside of our card. Ooh, I love how rich these colors are. You guys know that I'm a big fan of Blackberry Bliss because usually my nails are that color. Pretty close. <laughs> and I wear a lot of this color of clothing. I love it. Okay, we're gonna set that aside. Then we're gonna think about this a little bit. Um, yeah, okay, here we go. I'm ready, I think. Oh, white piece. I've got a little white piece here. Did I write this down? I don't know, I didn't write it down. Hang on. This is two and a quarter by three and a half. Two and a quarter. Yep, that's what I wrote on the back. <laughs> so I'm going to write yes. So when I type this up, I'll have all the dimensions for you. Okay. Um, card base was 11, four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. And then we've got this piece that's two and a quarter by three and a half. And what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to bring in Highland Heather and Blackberry Bliss. Now, I think these colors look really nice together. I'm going to use this splotchy thing, which you can stamp in the perfume bottle to get it, give it kind of a watercolored, scribbly look. I like that. I'm going to stamp this in the middle of this white layer just like that. And then I'm going to bring in the greeting that says, be as bold as your lipstick. And I don't know, I just love, love, love this greeting. Be as bold as your lipstick. I just think that's cute and it applies to so many different people. Like we should all be as bold as our lipstick. I wish I wore lipstick more often, but you know I'm a Carmex freak. I'm really addicted to Carmex. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take uh, Versamark ink and our little tube of lipstick. We're going to stamp our lipstick in Versamark ink right on this piece. Then we're going to take a sheet of paper. Oh, here it is. I'm like, where did my paper go? To catch the extra, or maybe you have one of those little trays. Those are nice too. We're going to emboss. I always like to give it a big puff of air. We're gonna um, gold emboss on gold. Now, if you don't have gold embossing powder, but you have gold foil paper, you can clear emboss on it. That'll work fine too. I, I just went against my rule. Always close this up before you get out the embossing powder. It's a disaster. And then we're going to hit this with our heat tool. My old workhorse here. And there we go. Now we've got it gold embossed. 
inside here. Yeah, gold emboss on gold, Connie. Isn't that cool? We've got the lipstick right here. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to die cut it, okay? And of course, through the magic of TV, I've already done it. Look how pretty that is. Oh, look, I got that. Hang on. Got the ink. The ink on the finger. I don't want to ruin my project. Yeah, it was fresh, too. I wasn't sure how long ago I did that. Okay, so here is our lipstick. Okay, here's our Be As Bold As Your Lipstick. Where does this go? Over there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my card. I'm going to put this on the front. Just like this. This is four by five and a quarter of that beautiful best dressed paper. Isn't that pretty? Um, oh, we've got this scrap right here. And that's where the dies are going to come in. Now, what I found, let me see, let me think about this, is that you're going to die cut your shape first. Die cut your shape, okay? Die cut that, and you're going to end up with this. And this is just a rectangle that this die cut. Then you're going to bring in your embossing folder, okay? And what I found is the best way to do this is to take this and put it, let me look at this, nope, not on the one that's on the front, but the one that's on the other side. So this has got your label on it. Don't put it on this, put it here. And that way you can center it. And I like to look here, make sure it's completely centered because that frame is just a little bit bigger than the embossed image in this folder. So you're gonna hang onto that, you're gonna run this through your embossing folder. This requires the blue plate, so you just put one blue plate on top of it, run it through your die cutting machine, and then you're gonna get this beautiful frame. And of course, you get ovals or rectangles. Now these are really pretty. What I decided to do with this is to add it to this white layer. And let's see, maybe if I, I wonder if that will be okay. I think this will be okay if I put it on dimensionals. So I'm going to add some dimensionals to it. Like I said, I didn't actually make this card yet. I want to make sure I've got my the side that I want. Because you could actually use either side. And I think this is going to be my back right here. So I'm going to put some dimensionals on here. And... A little bit more here and here. Now before I stick this down to anything, I've got the ribbon that matches this whole suite and the tassels. Did you guys see the tassels? Here's the tassels. They come in petal pink, whisper white, and pretty peacock. In the whisper white, you can actually color or you can dye these any color you want, but they're super, super cute. I just thought this would look nice tied to my frame. So I am going to add this right here. I'm just going to kind of tie it with my um, mint macaron ribbon that matches all the colors in the paper. This, this is really pretty. I'm just going to tie this right on here. And this is just going to add a little bit of pizzazz to our frame. Just like that. Isn't that cute? Look at how cute that is. Okay, let's cut that. I'm going to cut it at an angle. My scissors need to be cleaned. I thought about cleaning them today, but then I didn't. <laughs> there we go. Okay, then we're going to put this on our card front. And I'm going to put this, I think, at an angle like this. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it at an angle. So we're just going to glue this down. Be as bold as your lipstick. And before that dries too much, I want to get this over here and make sure that I've got it just a little, little bit more. There we go. Okay, where's my take your pick tool? Does anybody see that? Lord help me. Oh, that's probably what fell on the floor before. Do you guys think? 
Don't worry. I got another one. <laughs> That's one of the good things about being in the biz. I usually have more than one of these little tools because I know me and I'm pretty prone to losing things when I need them the most. And I like having the different options and not having to switch them around all the time. That kind of makes me a little crazy. Okay, so here comes our little frame around our Be As Bold As Your Lipstick. And wait for it. Here's our lipstick. I think I'm going to add this to some more dimensionals because it's going to be fun. There we go with one. And these are kind of... Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I see all the hearts coming in. Thank you guys so much. Oh my gosh. What do you think? So this is all just in my head. And I thought, oh, this is going to be so cool. I couldn't hardly wait to get it done. Now hang on, because I've got some more things that I want to do here. Oh, I, I put my take your pick tool in my bin down there. So at least I found that because that was really going to bother me. We've got all this gold going on, so we might as well bring in some of these babies, right? Why not? How about that? And this. And I always like to do threes, right? Maybe... How about right there? Uh-huh. Yep. Look at that. Be as bold as your lipstick. Now, you guys, I have a bag, a little purse to match this made out of the dye that you make the purses with. This is what's going to be part of my video hop on YouTube tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Central Time. It's going to go live on my blog. The video link is in there. Then you're going to Go to the YouTube, watch the video, and in the description under the video, there's a show more you can click on. You're going to open that up and you're going to see a bunch of names. You're going to go and see what everybody else made with this, but you're going to see my bag. And I have to tell you, stinking adorable. My bag is so cute. So this is the bundle of products that I have my kit class for April. And the kit class is $47. It comes with the ribbon, the tassels. You get a half pack of the Best Dress Designer Series paper. What else? Oh, you get the gilded gems. And enough pre-cut cardstock to make eight cards. There's four different designs. You make two of each. So you get all of this product. You'll have plenty left over to make more cards with. Plus, exclusive video tutorials for four different cards. You make two of each. Ashley and I, Ashley out of Canada, do this class together. And um, we cut and score all the cardstock for you. Now, it is going to be eight cards. It's not going to be little purses and stuff. But you have the opportunity to add on the um, stamp set and the dies if you would like to. And all those details are on my blog right here. In the right-hand column, you're going to look for online classes as one of my tabs in the right-hand column on my blog. You'll find all the details for my April card class. And I also give you links to all the other things that I've made with this suite of products, or this, yeah, this suite of products in the file that I send you. So you get a PDF file with exclusive video tutorials. You will not see these cards other places. These are exclusive to this class. I've seen Ashley's cards and they are adorable. And I have to tell you, Haley designed a couple of my cards for this class. And of course you guys know how fabulous she is, right? So she made some really cool cards for that too. I'm excited to share those with you. Um, and I'll give you links back to everything else that I've made with this. So you're going to have this card. You're going to have the other cards that I made and all the dimensions. I've got this little bag. It can be changed out into any color. I've got a bag coming tomorrow. Plus you'll have 
You got an idea from Ashley, so that's another one. I'll put that in the file, and you'll have all the cards that we have created with it. Really, really fun. I love this suite of products. So, hang on just a second. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way so I don't have such a disastrous mess going on here. And I don't want to lose my little dies, right? Because holy cow, don't you hate it when that happens? I almost ran one over with my chair the other day, and I thought, well, that'll be a great way to ruin your die, right? It's not going to hold up very well under my chair wheel. I don't want to put these away. Okay, there we go. Haley, can you come over tomorrow? I've got the Versa Mark. She's been doing a lot of embossing, so it's kind of cute. I've got the Versa Mark, honey. Yeah. Okay, where did our po portfolio go? Oh, here they are. Here we go. Here's what we made tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please share my video, whether you're watching now or later on YouTube. Give me a thumbs up. That always helps me. Share my video. YouTube you can share. You can share here. Um, spread the word. The more people that watch me, the better everything is. Everything. Yeah, super cute. What would you guys think? Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn you back around so I'm not talking to the back of your head. And I am going to be working on my kits tonight. So they're all going out in the mail tomorrow for that birthday bonanza, the second online class that I did for the month of March. Hoping to have those all out tomorrow. So that'll be nice. And I see that my screen is kind of doing goofy things like it's pausing me. Am I locking up for you guys? It's really strange. I've never seen that happen before. Connie says, Kelly's classes are amazing. Order them because she will never disappoint. You are so sweet. Thank you so much. Did you see? I was losing my crown. We can't lose her crown. So, what are you guys drinking tonight? You know what I have. I'm boring. <laughs> uh -huh. Lori, I'm so happy to see you on, on here tonight. We've got Lynn, Helen. Another awesome evening with my pretend upline. I will be your pretend upline. I have no problem with that. You guys are so sweet. Thank you, Kay. Kay says, great projects tonight. I appreciate it. How are you guys doing? Is everybody doing okay? I know this is getting long. Every day it's getting longer and longer, and it's so weird. Like I said today, it got really creepy. Like, as I was watching, like, I've never really been that aware of germs. I'm not a germaphobe. My husband is a little bit. He's a little bit weird about germs. But watching the people today touch all the things, it's like, why are you touching all that? Get your hands off that counter. <laughs> and then the pharmacist was wearing a mask, but the assistant wasn't. But do you know how many sick people you come in contact with with this coronavirus going around? Why wouldn't you be wearing a mask? To each his own. I am not the germ police, right? To each his own. But the only thing that I have control over is myself. And I should just stay home. That's what we should be doing is staying home. So we're not exposed to all the cooties. Haley and I, were going for walks. Um... I think Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we went for walks every day. And, of course, we didn't encounter any people, and so that was good. And it's good to get out and get some fresh air, right? It's supposed to be nice on Wednesday, Steve said, and then it's supposed to rain. Might be up to 60 on Wednesday. And I said, when do I get to go for a Harley ride? Then I told him, don't forget, I've got leather chaps now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Aw, thanks. Linda says you're making staying in much better. Thank you. I, I hope that you guys are, I know you guys are enjoying this. I know that I'm enjoying myself. Um, it's so much more stuff that I get to share with you because I'm really limited if I only do one Facebook Live a week. I, I am supposed to have a blog hop this week on Thursday. I don't know that I'm actually going to accomplish that. Um, as you well know, I'm working a lot more than normal being online. And then there's other things that I have an already busy schedule, right? And then when you add in a Facebook Live and all the things that go with it, the blog posts, the photography, the editing of the photos, the watermarking the photos, getting all the links in the YouTube and the blog and the blah, 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 blah. 
um, it is adding a lot to my to my schedule which is kind of putting me behind on other obligations that I have and I have an obligation to my team I need to get them set up on zoom so we can do it do a zoom conference call team meeting I think that'll be really fun we've never done it before so I'm gonna try to do that but I think I might not be making the blog hop this week um, or the other blog hops that I'm usually involved in on a monthly basis just because it's it's I need to pick and choose right it's a little bit too much and I think I would rather pick to spend a little bit of time with you guys every day right <laughs> I hope I hope that's what you want and I hope there's nobody out there going oh my god is she ever gonna quit <laughs> I don't think so <clears throat> oh what's Haley saying I missed whatever she's saying ah Penelope said it's supposed to be in the 70s well it's supposed to get up to 60 here but then it's supposed to rain uh, yeah and Jody said blogs are a lot of work yes they are they are a lot of work Yes, I'm just reading all your comments, you guys. Thank you so much. Rachel, I want you to take care of yourself and keep us posted on what's happening with you. Um, I, I'm pretty sure you're, you're healthy and you're young that if you do have the coronavirus that, you know, it's going to be okay. It's a scary thing, right? Kathy says, I love spending time with you, Kelly. Thank you, Kathy. You're so sweet. And you're welcome. Who was that? You just scrolled by. Marianne, you're so welcome. Thank you so much. We got Judy and Terry says, no way we want you here. <laughs> okay. That's what I was hoping, right? I thought, well, if you didn't want me here, you wouldn't watch me. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, um, Kathy says, I have had trouble with tassels. Hang on. Ever. Whoops. Ever I was young and was told, hang on, I just lost it. Uh, I'm sorry, Kathy, I don't know where your message went. Oh, and was told that tea bags are good practice substitutes. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Thank you, Susan. Oh, uh, and Bev says it's raining there for the next three three days and it's coming our way. Yep. Well, my friend Barb got like four to five inches of snow the other day. It's like not in April. That's not okay. Yeah. So, all right, you guys, I'm going to let you go. Have yourselves a wonderful rest of your evening. I'm going to go be hammering out kits and cutting cardstock like a crazy person. That's what I'm going to do. Have a wonderful night and take care of yourself. Bye-bye.